I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job. You can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need you. Hey, with my crew coming through, what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, case on the news. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA's. Ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the New York Jets and the Houston Texans. The winner here goes to the Super Bowl, and we'll know soon enough which team that'll be as we are underway in the AFC title game. to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. That's a game of five. Brings up third and four. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, Jackson. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. Touchdown, Houston. Strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The Jets take over a first at their own 25-yard line. On first down, Swift pushing his way through, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. 
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 53 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Looking to throw is Mahomes. By time to his left. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Us there to make the grab as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Rosas good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Play action. It's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. On the run. He'll let... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards. First down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10. Right at the 40. from the shotgun. Flush to his right. Pass incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, and you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. 56 to Mike, boys. 56. Check 56. I got it. Mike's 56. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And they finally get to him as he's taken down. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Now here's a timeout called by the Jets. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. Jackson now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. He's going to go. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. 
as his guys are in for six. And the Texans have taken the lead. The point after is good. A diving catch for the score. He laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They trail early on in his Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll run on first down. Swift, and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll buy some time right, and he's going to keep it here. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. For a rookie first rounder, he's made a huge impact on this defense, but that tells me that they had a plan for him when they drafted him. Just turn him loose, do what you do best, go get the quarterback. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. That's throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-7. to Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. On second down, Swift. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. But he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. He's crashing. He's checking crap. I don't need to. I don't need to. Shit, shit. Okay. Mahomes now on first down. This is caught inside the 15. 
That one goes for 30 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. This is Scarborough. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Second and goal from the one. They run. This is Scarborough. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are back within a single score. PAT up and good by Rosas. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one... And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Houston. Tavon Austin. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. AFC title game, second quarter action. Two minutes to play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try the left side. Swift. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down now, Swift. And he's got some space here. And he cuts it out right sidelines. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great play there. 58 yards as his guys are back within a single score. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Forced out to his left. And some room to maneuver. B 
big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. The Texans send the punter out as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about Mahomes. Hit. He lost the football. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. 57, 57, color, 57, color. Yellow. Out, 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 out. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Here's Mahomes to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And that's the second sack of the game. But this player, disruptive in all phases. Whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And that'll hit and go out of bounds. So they'll start just outside their own 40-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Ready. 
56 is the mic. Let's go, baby. They turn it over. Get that ball. Oh. Get that ball. Throwing on second and eight. Jackson being chased out left. Now he'll pull it down. And some room to run now. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson now, operating from the gun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Jackson now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a corner to play. It's first and 10. side with Henry and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line that'll wind up going for a loss of four and it'll bring up a second and 14 they'll run it again with Henry this will be a five yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15 tough first half for him unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing but with a guy like him you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Here we go. Here we go. He may try and run for this. And they'll get him down short of the first down right on the 10-yard line. Give him five on the QB run, but it's going to bring up a fourth down. Check 12. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Buying time to, and it's a touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Texans push further out in front. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 47. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Let's go, Heavy. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, Heavy? What you got, Heavy? Come on. Give me something. Here we go, here we go. Right, right. Shotgun snap to Mahomes, escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Olivier Vernon in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. 25, check 25. 15, 15, 15. Under 
They do go for it. It's Mahomes. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Kyle Fuller there defensively. But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it. It didn't work out. They must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. And they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. Back now in Houston. It's the Texans in control of the football and leading this game as well as we start the fourth. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. And now he'll tuck it and run. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Step. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Lamar Jackson, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Texans push further out in front. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do and the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of it. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild build that confidence. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And a diving grab. I think he got that, yes. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix there for the stop. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Forced out to his left. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 32-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. On first down. Swift, and this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Now again, right side. 
Swift. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop at a yard shy. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that may put a period on this AFC Championship game. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast-forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. He can run for it, and he will. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. On fourth down, Jackson. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is going to be incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. And a failure on fourth down on the other side leads immediately to a first and goal. They'll try the left side. Swift. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets are able to close the gap just a bit. Rosas good with the extra point. And that will get him one closer. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Let's it fly for... And got his man complete! And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Adam Thielen, 76 yards. And the Texans push further out in front. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. At their own 18 yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. Here's Jackson. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. The extra point up and good. They said beginning of the